And it is now my uh, pleasure uh, to recognize uh, the witnesses and uh, Mr. Dodaro. Uh, please, we welcome your testimony. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good morning to you, Ranking Member Ms. Norton, uh, members of the committee. Uh, I'm very pleased uh, to be here today to present our eighth annual report. I'm also very pleased to report that based on the first seven years that we issued this report, we issued about 724 recommendations. 52% uh, have been implemented, 24% have been partially implemented, and as a result of these actions, there are financial benefits that have accrued or will accrue to the federal government of $178 billion. Now, most of these actions were due to the Congress taking action to pass legislation uh, to deal with a number of issues that we had raised. And given Congress's critical role in the appendix to our testimony today are 58 open recommendations to the Congress that we have had made that could result in savings of tens of billions of dollars in additional money. Uh, so I commend those for your attention. Be happy to talk about them today. In the uh, new report that we're issuing today, uh, we have uh, additional t uh, tens of actions, 68 new actions uh, that uh, can be implemented. For example, uh, overlap and duplication in the U.S. Defense Department distribution centers uh, could be made uh, that could save, by DOD's estimates, $527 million over five years. There are tens of billions of dollars potentially that could be saved uh, by treating low-level waste at the Hanford Repository uh, with cheaper methods, and it could actually get the do job done faster. Uh, also, at the Veterans Administration, uh, there could be tens of millions of dollars in additional savings by consolidating their medical and surgical supplies purchasing uh, program. Also at the Coast Guard, uh, they have identified themselves a number of stations that could be closed that overlap uh, with other stations uh, within the same uh, uh, time frame that could respond to search and rescue, and that could save them millions of dollars. Uh, and improve their operations as well. So these are a few examples that we have. Now we also, from our prior work, in addition to these new examples, have a number of outstanding examples that uh, still need to be fully implemented. And they range from taking actions at the IRS uh, and uh, you know, some other revenue options to, that, that could increase the revenue coming into the federal government through more efficient practices and also save a lot of money, particularly in the Medicare uh, area and in the Medicaid program, which is the fastest growing part of the federal government's uh, budget from a spending standpoint. Uh, so we're, we're very pleased uh, that you're holding this hearing. We appreciate the attention given to our work, and my colleagues and I would be very pleased to respond to all questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.